Kong San San. Welcome back to Play Channel. Every government and automotive manufacturer is looking for the solution of automotive electrifications and decarbonization. He is associated with automotive manufacturers of ends of life products. And today I will bring you to experience the first hydrogen bus in Malaysia, which is located at Kuching, Sarawak. Let's get started! Malaysia government has committed to driving sustainability and inclusivity as outlined in the 12 Malaysian plans with a commitment to achieve net zero gas house emissions by 2050 at the earliest. Kuching scored a lead in public transportation when it introduced three hydrogen buses on 1st August 2019. It is common sight in Kuching city as it moved up and down the routes of the city on the trial run. This is my first time to take hydrogen bus. I think we would not miss it lah because the bus is painted in red and white. Let's just wait for the bus. <laughs> A few moments later. Do you know what the difference between the hydrogen and battery electric bus? Hydrogen bus is one kind of electric vehicles called fuel cell electric vehicles powered by hydrogen. Battery electric bus is the other kind of electric vehicles called battery electric vehicles. The difference between them is about the range, refueling efficiency, sustainability, and infrastructure. Both of them are produced using zero emission to the environment. Yeah, I know it's so difficult to pick on hydrogen and battery-powered electric vehicle, right? The hydrogen bus is considered part of pushing efforts to modernize public transportation. Therefore, the bus offers free Wi-Fi services and GPS tracking of the bus roof via its H2 Sarawak apps. Aside from that, the bus is fully air-conditioned and has special seat for elderly and disabled. It can travel 300 km on a single refill. There was also a small LED TV in front of the bus with LED tags also flying in the LED display in front. Although the interior design of the hydrogen bus is not surprising and special, it is just like an ordinary buses can take from point A to point B, but the ride experience is more quiet compared to ordinary buses. By the way, this hydrogen bus is free! The state of Sarawak has hit a huge milestone in bringing Malaysia into the world as it is the first state to introduce hydrogen fuel cell buses in the region of Southeast Asia. For more understanding about the future development of mobility, we were honoured to invite Mr. Robert Hardin to talk more about the green energy progress in Sarawak. And now we pass to our host, Farai. Okay, so hi everyone. Now, today, we are here with Mr. Robert Hardin, the CEO of SUDC Energy. So, how are you Mr. Robert? I'm alright. How are you? I'm very good. Okay, so before we start with our interview today, I want to congratulate SUDC Energy and also Mr. Robert Hardin for becoming a major petroleum company in Sarawak. So, how do you Thank feel you. about it? Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. We are happy and excited to be recognized by the Malaysian government as a major oil and gas company right, from Sarawak. Sarawakian oil and gas company is now our responsibility to carry this and uh, further develop our own resources from mm -hmm. now on. We're building the infrastructure for Sarawakians to be able to go green in the future. Mm -hmm. right? So there will be zero emission cars, zero emission electric vehicles, mm -hmm. like batteries or fuel cell powered. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So other than that, Mr. Robert, we know that SEDC is a big group of company. Okay, see, but can you tell me more about SEDC Energy? Our role is to manage the downstream business, which is you know, the marketing and trading of uh, refined or finished products like fuels and all that. Because um, part of our role is to make sure that carbon emission in Strava will be greatly reduced. Okay. At the same time, we are also developing the hydrogen economy for us. Mm. So this will be our, our contribution to the world. The target is to keep the world's temperature increment at below 1.5 degree mm. Celsius. I heard that we. we I, I think currently we, we already have one of the hydrogen bus. Is it under SCBC for or the bus? Yeah. Bus and uh, ART mm. operation mm. will be under Sarawak Metro, so our right. sister company in uh, within the SCDC group. So our SCDC Energy's role mm. is to produce the green hydrogen 
to power up these buses and the uh, LRT. Yeah. And also, I heard that CDC is going to export the hydrogen to other countries as well. Is that true? Yes. At this moment, producing carbon free hydrogen or green hydrogen, as it's called, it's still expensive. So, hence why we have uh, partnered up with the Japanese. Mm -hmm. We are working to develop this um, commercial scale hydrogen plant in Bindulu. So, we are still at a detailed feasibility study at the moment. But it will be very exciting once we do that because once that plant is up, we'll be most probably among the first, among the pioneers in the world. Yes, yes. Exporting and green hydrogen. Yeah, yeah. What is the most uh, challenging part like for people to shift to the renewable energy? <laughs> Change is always difficult for everyone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> From uh, SCDC energy point of view, our challenge is basically turning the whole thing around. Make us go green, zero carbon, and control the environment, the, the uh, carbon emission. Even though, yes, it is expensive now, but if we don't do it now, when, when are we going to do it? Mm, true, right? For the green hydrogen production, hydrogen economy, the equipment, yes, is expensive. So, hence why we are not going to straight away, yes, we're going to build a big plant into the loop, mm. but we're not going to like straight away maximize the whole plant, phase it out. Then because we foresee that in the next five years, the cost of the equipment is going to start coming down mm. when there's mass adoption mm. globally. Uh, we aspire to see within from now until 2030, maybe by 2030, we see a lot more electric cars, electric vehicles, be it on the road, be it on our rivers. Is it like the normal, you know, petrol? Hydrogen fuel cell car is just like how you refill your normal petrol car. You go to the station, you pick up the nozzle, you open the, the flap, oh. then just plug it in. Mm -hmm. And then in less than, maybe less than three minutes or four minutes, it's already filled up full time. Wow. Yeah. So for battery electric vehicles, it's... Need to charge it. <laughs> yes, battery would need a bit of time. Mm. So you just plug it in. You mm. can always go to our store in the station. Mm. Our station is called Petros, mm. but our store is called uh, Oasis. All right. Mm. So you can go into Oasis, you can have your coffee there. Oh. So after a couple of minutes, you can come out and your electric car is fully charged. Now, for hydrogen fuel cell, it's good for heavier or bigger vehicles. Mm. So hence why in Sarawak, we started the bus and then the ART. For passenger vehicles, um, battery EVs is still fine, it's still uh, efficient. Um, it, when it comes to a point that where there's maybe there's more um, fuel cell cars available in the market, then we'll see how it goes by then. Mm. But for now, hydrogen is really is more suitable for heavier vehicles. Mm. Reason is the weight. The weight of a uh, lithium or any type of battery inside a big vehicle is going to be very, very heavy. And maybe for the last question, do you think that in the future, this hydrogen energy can help the economy of the people in Sarawak? Yes, definitely. Mm. So that's what we call a kickstart the hydrogen mm. economy. So we are, mm. SEDC Energy, we are building the infrastructure now. Okay, for all Sraukians. So Sraukians uh, is getting exposure at mm. a very early stage of uh, such economy. So 10 years from now, when the technology is more adopted all around the world, Sraukians potentially could be among the experts mm. in the hydrogen uh, industry itself. So it will be more marketable. The, our mm. youngsters, our graduates and all that will be more marketable, not only in Sarawak, but on a global scale. Mm. So in the future that what we hope is that Sarah can be one of the pioneers of uh, yes. the hydro energy. Thank you, Mr. Robert Hardin. You can attend our talk show today. Goodbye. See you in uh, the next part. Thank you. Thank you. I wish you all have a better understanding about the electric vehicles. Would you like to take a ride with a hydrogen bus as well? If you do, you can come to Kuching and download the Hash2 Sarawak apps to monitor the location of the hydrogen bus. In the next episode, I will invite my friends I'd like to talk more about the electric vehicles. Or I will suggest you to visit incoming Automechanica Kuala Lumpur exhibition which will be held on 16 to 18 March 2023. We will bring you more more understanding about the business trend opportunity, technology breakthroughs, and experience coming from automotive electrification development. I wish to see you all in the Auto Mechanica Kuala Lumpur exhibition and we share the joy together. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell button. Let's play it, watch it, and feel it. See you next time. Bye bye.